Stacy's family believes Tony Brand, the boyfriend she was living with at the time, may know more and convince him to take a polygraph test. But after initially saying yes, Tony never showed. Did you have a conversation with him on why? He spoke to my supervisor about that. What was the message relayed? I'm not willing to discuss this one. Regardless of reason, refusing the test was Tony's right. And with no evidence that a crime had even taken place, the family shifts its focus from pointing fingers to finding Stacy. We hired a private search team. Um, within the week, we had four public searches as well as numerous um, private searches, starting from the residents and um, you know expanding out from there. We're at Lewiston Lake, which is a long, thin lake set in the Trinity Mountains. And the reason that this was the base for search efforts is because, as you can see over here, we have Pine Cove uh, Marina. And behind Pine Cove Marina is where Stacy Smart and her boyfriend live. With cadaver dogs in tow, the search began, and at least 50 volunteers from the community showed up. But there was one notable absence. During the time the family was searching, was Tony Brand involved in that? No, not at all. He stopped by the first search for about three minutes, gave a flash drive with some pictures on it to Melissa, and then left and got new tires on his truck that day. But then Tony's stance was still that Stacy had just run off. And by most accounts, other than the polygraph, he did cooperate with the investigations, both police and private. We were given written permission by uh, Mr. Brand to go in and search the perimeter of and the outside of the property. The only area where both dogs independently indicated that they detected something was the back of an old shed that uh, uh, adjoins the property there. It indicates that the dogs are detecting probably blood or, or something else to do with that. However, one has to then take the step back and say, well, is that from this case or is that because somebody cut their hand on the shed? But it did give us an opportunity then to go ask the neighbor for permission to go back in on the other side of the open shed and search all around inside with the canines. And at that point, they didn't hit on anything. A dead end, then searchers centered their efforts around the lake. And for a second, it looked like they might have something. There had been carpet removed within the home after she went missing, and that carpeting has disappeared. Mm -hmm. um, there was, believe it or not, carpeting that washed up on the lake shore here. You're kidding me. Was it a like match? Like weeks later. Well, the sheriff's department finally came out and casually determined that it was not. Another false lead, but around that same time, search crews using sonar got what they believed to be their biggest hit yet. We pinged an object on the lake that looked to be human remains, and they brought divers out two days later. It turns out, we understand from divers from the sheriff's department that went in later that that was debris on the bottom. Not human remains. For the family, so desperately searching for answers, both relief and heartbreak. We adopted. Stacy's youngest child, she came to us several times and said, I'm worried about my mom. She's out there somewhere. I'm worried about my mom. If she's out there somewhere, she's probably freezing to death. Police looked into the possibility Stacy really did simply walk off and even investigated a possible link between Stacy's disappearance and that of Sherry Papini's kidnapping, which happened just 45 miles away. We've been in contact with the Shasta County Sheriff's Office and they've been in contact with us and neither of us have been able to drum up anything that would make it look like they were connected in any way. And on top of that, even though she was reported missing on the 2nd, the same day as Sherry Papini, she had not actually been seen since October 15th. Do you still feel that she is alive and somewhere out there? I, um, I know that my mother would never leave her family without contacting us. Um, I think that maybe an accident happened um, and whoever, there has to be somebody that knows something about her disappearance. And as it turns out, there was someone who claimed to know something, something the family thinks could change everything. Coming up, 
We had her call our private detective. He taped the whole conversation. A shocking new allegation about what happened to Stacy Smart. Very well could be a very important piece of circumstantial evidence to this particular case. And... Oh, hi. Is Tony Brown's residence here? What does Tony know? I suggest you turn the camera off. 